You probably think of death as silence, the flat line, the lights out, the end. But what if that moment, the one we fear most, is actually one of the most active states our brain ever enters? What if, in the seconds before death, the brain doesn't shut down, but turns on? Let's talk about what neuroscience has discovered about dying and how it's rewriting everything we thought we knew about the end of life. This isn't just about science. It's about mystery. It's about consciousness. And it's about what might be happening inside your mind in its final, fleeting moments. For centuries, death has been defined by the absence of life. The heart stops beating. The lungs stop breathing. The body shuts down. Simple, right? But the brain, the seat of thought, memory, and awareness, might not follow that script. Today, brain scanners and EEG machines are allowing scientists to witness something remarkable, a final surge of activity, just before, and even after, clinical death. This isn't some poetic idea. It's measurable. It's happening, and it's challenging everything we thought we knew about what it means to die. It started with a study on lab rats. In 2013, researchers at the University of Michigan induced cardiac arrest in rats while monitoring their brain activity. The results were unexpected. Just after the heart stopped, the rats' brains showed a sharp increase in gamma wave activity the same type of wave associated with high-level cognition, perception, and consciousness. It wasn't a fade to black, it was a flare, a spike, a burst of complexity. These waves didn't last long, just 30 seconds to a minute. But in that window, the brain seemed to light up. Why? Was it panic? Was it the brain trying to survive? Or was it something deeper? a final attempt to create meaning. Years later, a rare opportunity emerged to study this in a human. In 2022, doctors recorded the brainwaves of an 87-year-old man as he died of cardiac arrest while already undergoing EEG monitoring. What they saw mirrored the rat study, high-frequency brain activity even after the heart had stopped. This is where the story takes a philosophical turn. If the brain remains active, even briefly, after death begins, what does that mean for consciousness? Are we experiencing something in those final seconds? Is it confusion or clarity? Enter near-death experiences. People who survive cardiac arrest often describe eerie similarities, a sense of peace, a tunnel of light a flash of memories, even a feeling of floating above their body. For decades, science brushed these off as hallucinations, random neuron firings, perhaps triggered by oxygen deprivation or chemical imbalances. But now, some researchers are rethinking that. If the brain truly enters a heightened state at death, maybe these visions aren't noise, but signal. One theory suggests this surge is the brain's final attempt to process everything, a last-ditch effort to create coherence as the system shuts down. Another theory is more chemical. Perhaps the brain releases DMT or floods itself with neurotransmitters in a last surge, simulating these powerful experiences. But either way, even if these moments are purely biological, they're still profound, because they tell us this. Death might not be immediate, consciousness might not vanish in an instant, and the final moments of life might be something we haven't even begun to understand. Let's pause for a moment. What do you think happens in the brain as we die? Not spiritually, not what happens after death, but neurologically, in that moment when the body begins to shut down. Are we catching a glimpse of something profound? Or is it just biology doing its final job? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let's explore this together. So, 
What does all this mean, really? For one, it redefines how we think about the dying process. For centuries, death was a wall. Now, it's starting to look more like a doorway, or at least a corridor. Not necessarily into another world, but into another mental state. It also changes how we think about the end of consciousness, if awareness lingers beyond heartbeat. If the brain creates one last narrative, one final surge of meaning, then the moment of death might be less of a collapse and more of a culmination, like the final page of a book you didn't know was writing itself. This isn't about believing in an afterlife. It's about respecting the complexity of the brain and the mystery of being conscious. Because here's the truth, we still don't really understand what consciousness is. We don't know why it arises. We don't know how it fades. And now we're learning that it might not vanish as quickly as we thought. Maybe death isn't the absence of self. Maybe it's the brain's final, desperate, beautiful attempt to hold on to it. So next time you hear that flatline beep in a movie, or someone says, and then he was gone, remember, the truth might be more mysterious. The lights don't just go out. The mind, your mind, might flicker, flare, and fire in one last brilliant moment. A moment that's still being studied, still being misunderstood, still being revealed. If this kind of topic makes your mind light up, if you're drawn to the edges of science, the soul and everything in between, subscribe. We dive into questions that don't always have answers, but they're the questions worth asking. Thanks for being curious. Until next time, stay thoughtful, even about the end.